Oh, hey, we're back in Marseille. <laughs> Marseille. This is the third stop on our Windstar Star Legend Winter in the Mediterranean cruise. This is actually Nate and I's second time in Marseille. The last time we were here was on a Virgin cruise last summer. So we're going to try to hit up some things that we did not get to do last time. If you're interested in more things that you can do while in Marseille in a short period of time, highly recommend my previous video. I'll drop that down in the description box if you want to watch that one next. Today we're starting our morning at the Cathedral de la Major. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. This is the major cathedral here in Marseille. It's actually one of the largest ones in all of Europe. So I'm excited to pop in, check it out. So come along and let's spend a short little day in Marseille. La Major, as it is known to the Marseillais, is the only cathedral built in the 19th century, according to Marseille's tourism website. I'm not sure if that's the entire world or just in France, so comment below if you know the answer to that. At the beginning of the 19th century, Marseille experienced very strong economic and demographic growth. The location of this cathedral was strategic, in that it was placed in the new commercial port so that when ships would come into Marseille to trade, they would see from afar the power and beauty of Marseille. The first stone of this cathedral was laid by Louis Napoleon Bonaparte in 1852. The architecture of the cathedral was meant to reflect the multicultural melting pot that is the city of Marseille. It combines Roman and Eastern architectural styles and is built from white marble from Carrere, green stone from Florence, stone from Calisan, onyx from Italy and Tunisia, and mosaics from Venice. After a quick visit to the cathedral, we were off to our next stop. We were here last time, and the last time we were here, it was really, really hot. But uh, we had to come back because we're with our friend Aisha. She hasn't seen it before, and it's such a beautiful place you have to come see in Marseille. We took the tram here. It was super easy. It drops you off right in front. Um, so definitely take advantage of the Marseille public transit while you're here because it's very easy to use. Palais de Longchamp is a must-see if you're visiting Marseille. This historical monument and surrounding park is a true architectural achievement. In 1835, a cholera epidemic ravaged the city due to a lack of fresh water. After this, architects were tasked with building 18 aqueduct bridges to bring drinkable water to Marseille. After 10 years, their work was complete and this gorgeous monument is here to commemorate that achievement. Besides looking at all the beautiful waterfalls and architecture, you can also visit two museums while you're here. One for the arts and the other a natural history museum. And if you happen to come in summertime, I highly recommend bringing a picnic lunch here to sit on the grass and just enjoy the beautiful views. a 
very busy morning of sightseeing, I was hungry and my appetite led me straight into a boulangerie. My theory, and I'm sticking by it, carbs do not count in France. What do you think of the pan au chocolat? If you want to see where the city of Marseille got its start, you should take some time to get lost in the colorful streets of Le Panier. This is Marseille's oldest district and the location that the Greeks chose to settle around 600 BC for its vantage point on a hill above the sea. Today, Le Panier is an open air museum filled with all kinds of incredible street art to take in. Definitely take some time to wander these colorful streets. There are so many great cafes, terraces, designer shops, and just little novelty shops that you can pop into and find some treasures. I will say, be prepared for all kinds of stairs when you're in this area. While in Le Panier, you can also visit La Vie à Charité. This building has served many different purposes over the history of Marseille, but today houses several museums that you can visit. This area was pretty quiet the morning that we were there, but we popped into this cute little shop and had to get a couple little things as souvenirs, just a note. One thing that is great to buy as a souvenir in this area of France is soap. They're very well known for making really incredible soaps and also perfume in this area. Our wandering led us out into Viewport, which is the old port in Marseille. This is definitely a bustling area that you definitely want to check out. From here, you can see the Notre Dame de la Garde on the top of the hill. We did not visit it this time on our trip because it is a little bit difficult to get up there, but I did show this in our last Marseille vlog. So if you want to check out more about the Notre Dame de la Garde and a pretty easy and inexpensive way to get up there, then definitely check out the links in the description box where I will have that video linked so you can watch that next. If for no other reason, you've got to go up there just to see the incredible views of the city. If you're here in Marseille on a port day like we were, the viewport is probably where you're going to spend a little bit more of your time. It's probably what you're going to experience first when you get into Marseille. This is definitely a bustling area. They have all kinds of cafes and shops that line the port. From here you can get on a ferry or a boat tour that will take you to places like the Calanque or Chateau d'If nearby if you so choose. We happen to be here during Christmas time and it was really fun to see how people decorated their boats for Christmas and we also got to check out the Festival of the Santons which is always right here in the viewport. So in the old port during Christmas time they have this sort of special sort of Christmas market here in Marseille is like the Festival of the Santons and these are these little clay figurines that uh, were traditionally made by people in this region of France. They're all handmade so all these different booths selling them at different prices. Some of them are like really big, some are really small, but there are all these little figurines and you can buy a bunch of them to create your own little like nativity scene. I wish I had more room in my suitcase or but I wasn't afraid that they would all break going home because they're really, really cool to go look at just to see the artistry and the detail that go into these figurines. It's something really cool that you can come see if you're here during Christmas time. It was really interesting to go to these different booths and check out the Santons and see the differences in their artistry, the colors that they use, etc. I mean, it is true artwork in these little clay figurines and you can go from having just the basic nativity scene with the usual characters to building out an entire little city full of different villagers. Some of these Santons actually represent like real people, like French actors and different public figures. So it is really fascinating to see. One thing I have had on my wish list here in Marseille is either get boulevards or oysters so we're gonna go walk down the port we have some place that we bookmarked that is supposed to be really good although it is a very touristy area to eat this one spot is supposed to be delicious so we're gonna go check it out while there are many cafes that line the old port Shea Roger seemed like it was the place to go they not only sell their own fresh seafood but it was really popular and busy with locals a lot of the places all along the port were just empty and not busy at all which you think would be a bad sign. So we went for this place and it was so good and it was actually pretty affordable too. We got a huge plate of oysters to share and it was just the nice late lunch that we needed.
way back to the ship, we decided to walk through Fort St. Jean, which is a place that we went last time, but it is a really fascinating sort of museum and fortress that you can walk through and it is free to check out. Fun fact about this place, the fort was built in response to a local uprising against the governor, rather than for the defense of the city. Their cannons pointed inward towards the town, not outwards toward the sea. Since then, it has been a monastic hospice, a prison during the French Revolution, used as a French army barracks, and it was occupied by Nazi Germany during World War II. Fort St. John is actually part of the Museum of European and Mediterranean Civilizations, which you can access via a footbridge from the fort. This museum is dedicated to the civilization, peoples, and cultures of the Mediterranean. Its collections include more than 350,000 objects, as well as a large assortment of documents, comprising a total of a million works of art, documents, and objects. We only had about an hour left in port, so we decided to check out the Cosquer Cave experience. This is a separate ticket from the museum, but definitely a unique thing to see in Marseille. This exhibition is a replica of the Cosquer Caves that were discovered in Le Calanque nearby. It's a little bit of a ride, but a very gentle one at that. Definitely appropriate for young children to the elderly. The experience lasts about 35 minutes and you will receive an audio guide in your language that will explain all the various prehistoric rock formations and cave art. If you're gonna be in Marseille for a bit longer than us or you just want some different ideas, here are a couple other places you can go. You can check out the Pharaoh Palace. This garden and park is free to visit and it's very close to the old port. Or you can take a trip out to Chateau d'If Made famous by the novel The Count of Monte Cristo, this was famously where Edmond Dantes was imprisoned. And I hear there's a restaurant there now, so maybe it's not as rough as it used to be. Then you can take a boat tour out to the Le Calanque National Park. I would recommend doing this in the summertime. There are so many different tours and different experiences that you can do. This is usually a whole day trip, so check the description box below. I'll have all kinds of great options, but you definitely don't want to miss out on this beautiful natural park. And this is consequently where that underground cave was discovered that we visited the replica of. We are back on the Star Legend with Windstar, our little short day in March say is finished we definitely got to do a couple things that we've never tried before which was really fun but took a more low-key relaxed pace today in Marseille I will say the cave replica that we went on was a little bit anticlimactic it was cool it was interesting to learn about the prehistoric history so if you really love history um, you may really enjoy it maybe if I'd had a shot of espresso beforehand I'd be a little bit more alert it is a little bit of a ride and there was a young kid on it they seemed like they were very engaged with it so a really interesting experience to get to sort of experience this cave that you otherwise would not be able to access and that is disappearing uh, as time goes by because the water levels are rising in the Mediterranean Sea unfortunately but it moved kind of slow so if you're a little bit tired you might fall asleep I almost did uh, but I'm just here on the back deck sipping this delicious spiked apple cider and watching the sunset. We're about to set off for our next destination. So thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in our previous port vlog over in Nice, or if you wanna see our previous trip to Marseille to get some other ideas of what you can do here, I'll leave those two videos right here so you can check them out next. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys on the next video. Au revoir.